I was about to pop up all four mics and realize that uh, Spencer has left the building. Oh, and there goes Will the intern. Can I use this? Yep, John, put those on and get up close to the, uh, the mic and we'll go for a paddle here in just a few. Alrighty. John Quarterman, my in-studio guest, uh, set up his videotape. That's why he's late to the mic as well. Didn't even realize <laughs> that he got a, a very nice article in the paper today written up about your event and your group as well. No, I didn't know that, but uh, it's right here. It's a nice red cross at the top on page 5A. Paddle race to benefit friends of Reed Bingham, Walls Watershed Coalition. That's Saturday morning, 8 a.m. This coming Saturday, people. It sounds like it's an all-comers event as well. Um, whatever, whatever manner of boat you got. Um, well, as long as it's a paddle boat, no power boats. Hey, hey Willie Inter, jump in and help him out. <laughs> there we go. There <laughs> well, I can hold it. Or not, whichever. There you go. Yeah, we got people that are taking this thing seriously. We got people training for this thing. Uh, and they're using all sorts of training methods, some of which I'm not sure I believe, like paddling upriver. Well, John, let me ask that. I heard there's some dude that dominates this thing every year. Yeah, the same guy, uh, Dwight Griner, has won every year, but he better be watching out this year. He's got competition. <laughs> All right, Dwight. Um, anything special he's doing? Is it a special kind of kayak? Is it just the back and muscle and effort? He's just really good. He's, he's not very tall, but you put him in a kayak and he's a power machine. All right, people, the fifth annual Big Little River Paddle Race coming up this Saturday, all to benefit the uh, Friends of Reed Bingham State Park and the Watershed Coalition. Uh, these guys do great work. Matter of fact, they're kind of a, they're kind of a not so small community. That's right, it's Walls Watershed Coalition and it's, uh, it, it is the fifth, fifth Big, Little Road Paddle, yeah, Big Little River Paddle Race. I learned to talk this morning. Okay, Walls, it's an acronym, stands for Withacoochee, Willacoochee, Lapa, Little, and Sewanee Rivers. The actual name is Walls Watershed Coalition, or Walls for short. And we are now Sewanee Riverkeeper as well. That's uh, a name that's uh, authorized by the Waterkeeper Alliance. There's no more than 300 riverkeepers and waterkeepers worldwide, and we're one of them. Listen, I got kind of an education at the Azalea Festival, as a matter of fact. You guys were a very big presence there. Oh, yeah, we were at the Azalea Festival. That was great. Lots of people came by, learned about it, signed up to new members. We go to lots of things. I was down at Wani with some of the other people for four days. That was quite an experience. Uh, did you actually paddle or did you just enjoy the music? I enjoyed the music, talk to people. But we do paddles at least once a month. Uh, this this uh, paddle race uh, Saturday morning is our monthly event for April. We have one in May on the Swanee, another on the Swanee in June, and one on the Withacoochee River on the same month in June because we're branching out. Yep, and John, let me help everybody out, including you and your group. Uh, people don't overthink this thing. If you if you think it'd be nice to paddle with a group of people on a regular basis, if you want to find out more about the uh, the event and the organization, just plain show up at Reed Bingham with your boat. That's right. Now, while some people are training for this thing, you do not have to race. Uh -huh. I, I'm not going to be competing to win the first place. Uh, and you know, a lot of people just paddle along. The fast people will be done in about an hour. Everyone else may take another hour. It doesn't matter. And so, you actually end up on the Colquitt County side at the end of that race, correct? That's correct. The wet boat ramp. We start up at uh, a Roundtree Bridge at Red Roberts Landing. Uh, so it's Roundtree Bridge Road, exit 41 off of 75. And uh, then we paddle down about three miles through the cypress and the pines and looking at the great blue herons and the gators. Don't pet the gators, they won't bother you. And turtles. <laughs> and you come down to the, the boat ramp down on the west side. And there we'll... Uh, be given out awards and served in lunch, grilled on the spot. And a shuttle will take you back to the, uh, the starting point, correct? That's correct. We have a, a shuttle. Um, um, what, what we usually do is you put in your boats up at the top at Red Roberts Landing. We shuttle your vehicles down to the bottom end so that when you're done with the rest, with the race, your vehicles are already there. Wow. All right. So how much if I want to just show up and take a nice leisurely paddle with the rest of you? Um, maybe put one one daughter in my lap and just enjoy the ride. Oh, there you go. Well, this is a fundraiser, so it costs thirty dollars per boat. There's also a five dollar park entrance fee per vehicle for parking. Uh, limited to the first uh, fifty boats to register, so get your registration in now. You can do it online. You can mail in a form, or you can register at Red Roberts Landing on the day. That's tomorrow morning, eight a. Excuse me, Saturday morning, eight a.m. 
at Red Roberts Landing. And you're going to feed me. That's right. Plus, this year we're having a silent auction. We've got donations of tickets from Wild Adventures, a packet from Wilson Eye Center, and various other things. So you get to bid on the silent auction while eating the food grilled on the spot after you probably win a prize. Let me tell you how popular it is right now, John. Yesterday I had Chad Bush from Adel Outfitters in two weeks ago, three weeks ago, when I went to, was in his store and visiting with him, mm -hmm. I had to step over mm -hmm. the kayaks and the boats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When he sat with me yesterday, he said, I have none left. Oh, How about that for tis the season right now? Everybody grabbed every piece of inventory he had. Well, that's probably because they're all going to come down to the battle race. I'm telling you, they're <laughs> up for your day. That's it, that's it. That's it. How can they reach out to you? How can they, uh, how can they contact you if they want more information? Right, well, we're, we're online, it's all online, walls.net, www.als.net, or if it's easier to remember, swaneeriverkeeper.org, that goes to the same place, Swanee with two ends. Or if you prefer, just give us a ring at 229-242-0102, 229-242-0102. The paddle race is Saturday morning, registration starts at 8 a.m. We will be starting to paddle at 9.30, so come on down. And people, uh, the last time you priced a uh, kayak and thought that might be for you, if it was a decade ago, um, you better get out and price them again. They've come way, way down since then. Oh, and I almost forgot. You can win a kayak because we are raffling off a nice 10-foot fishing kayak, a Pelican Angler. Uh, the raffle tickets only cost $5 a piece. You can buy them online or you can buy them at the event. We will have the kayak there. Now, we're not making the selection there. We're doing that in July at our annual meeting, but you can... You know, get your ticket, get your chance on that kayak. You cannot buy a kayak for $5. Yeah, and did we forget to say, if you have trained enough, if you can beat the grand champion there, it's 50 bucks in your nah, pocket. <laughs> but that's right. You get a prize for, for first place, and that's not the only prize. There are a whole bunch of categories, old, young, male, female, single person in a kayak, double kayak, one person in a canoe, two person, three person, so you could win in any of a variety of categories and you get a plaque for that. All right, people, listen, um, starting at 8 a.m. this Saturday, just get up to exit 41, go to the Red Roberts Landing for Reed Bingham, and uh, enjoy a great day and great camaraderie and uh, do some good for the, the waterways throughout South Georgia. That's right. Get out on the rivers with a bunch of other people who like to be out there. It's a great day, and you can be there. www.als.com, correct? Dot net. Walls oh, dot net. net. Or swaneeriverkeeper.org. That's us, and come on down. John, thanks. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your efforts. All righty. Thank you. All right, people.